Okay, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Welcome back to another lecture series for instrument measurement and measurement. Today we are going to talk about a capacitive transducer. Okay, let's uh, let's begin. So before we move on, what is a capacitor and capacitive? All right. So uh, a capacitor basically is a device which consists of two conductor or plates which are separated by one another by a non-conducting insulating material, we call it dielectric material, okay? So if you look at this picture, you have two plates here, one plate facing each other, or this picture here, okay? And in between these two plates, uh, there are some uh, dielectric materials eh, to fill up the gap. Okay? So uh, the basic principle of a capacitive transistor is that it's based upon the capacitance value because each capacitor has a certain uh, capacitance value. Okay. For example, if we look at this one, it says it's 470 microfarad. Okay, so the unit is farad. Alright, so how to, uh, one of the formula in order to calculate how much capacitance is this in one capacitor is this. Okay, so capacitance C equals to epsilon multiplied by A. Epsilon here is called permittivity. Okay, it's permittivity is multiplied by A divided by D, which is the distance between the two plates. Okay, so uh, E, the permittivity of the electric constant is equal to uh, the relative permittivity, epsilon R, multiplied by epsilon naught. Epsilon R is the relative permittivity for the material, for the relative material, and epsilon naught is basically the permittivity of free space or vacuum. It's equal to a, a constant value. For the epsilon r, uh, for example, if you have air in between them, then the, uh, the epsilon r here is 1, okay? Alright, so A basically is the overlapping area, the area of this plate here, okay? Alright, and the D is the distance between the, distance between the plate, okay? Okay, let's now talk about what is a capacitive transducer. So, a capacitive transducer is basically another type of transducer which convert a non-electrical quantity into an electrical quantity based on the change of capacitance, based on, work, on the working principle of a capacitor. Okay? So, uh, the input for this type of transducer it can be either displacement, force, pressure, flow level, torque, etc., etc. But, and then the output of this transducer is basically a change in capacitance value, okay? In terms, then it can be translated into a change of voltage or a change of current if you connect the transducer into using a, a bridge circle, all right? So based on this formula here, we can uh, deduce that basically if you want to change the capacitance value of a capacitive transducer, basically you can change either the overlapping area A, okay, if you change, if you, if you fix the area from the permittivity at the distance and you change the area, you can change the capacitance. For example, if you increase the area, you will also increase the capacitance. Or you can, you can fix the permittivity and the area and you can change the distance between the plate. So the capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance if you fix these two value. Okay. And lastly, if you can change the capacitor by changing the amount of the electric constant E by if you keep distance and the uh, air overlapping area constant. Okay, now what are some examples of uh, the different construction type of capacitive transducer? Okay, so uh, for example, in this type here, uh, so you have two parallel plates, and then if how to, to, to change the capacitance is this. Uh, if, if you want to, to use the change the over, if you want to change the overlapping area A, it's basically like uh, here you can basically move the moving plate, the two plate here, move away or closer to each other. Okay? So if you move the plate away, then the effective overlapping area will reduce. Okay? So if you move to the right, in this example, the capacitance will decrease because the uh, a overlapping area decrease, okay? All right, and vice versa. Okay, another way here, uh, just to show you that if you, in, let's say, uh, if you increase the distance between the two plates, then basically the capacitance will increase, okay? And vice versa, all right? 
So parallel plate change based on the change of distance. Okay, and then this one here, you still have a parallel plate, but if you basically it's a semicircular. So um, in these two, in these two type of uh, sizes, basically you want to basically you have to measure a linear displacement, a linear displacement. Okay, for example, if you move uh, something, if you put a, a force this way or that way, then the plate can move left or right. Okay. So basically, you are changing uh, the, the, the linear displacement or and changing the displacement between the plate. In this case, basically, um, you can uh, change the uh, overlapping area by changing the angular displacement. See, if you rotate, this is like basically a top view of a plate. You have two plates rotating each other. So let's say if you rotate this plate, this place... Uh, uh, Clockwise, then you are overlapping this area more and more, so you have greater capacitance. But if you rotate the disc this way, then the area here become less, and then you have a, a, a lesser uh, capacitance. Okay. And last but not least, you can change the capacitance by changing the dielectric permittivity here. So if you move the dielectric here, or maybe uh, you change it to an, an, another type then basically you are also changing the capacitance okay so if you replace for example this type of directory you move to the left and then the, the the next the rest of the gap here is filled by air then you will have a, a different uh, value of capacitance for this transducer okay all right so um let's talk about capacitive pressure transducer so in this capacitive pressure transducer, you for example you have um uh, it's, it's shown here, you have a, a diaphragm, uh, a metal diaphragm here, and you have a, a static uh, diaphragm here, okay? All right. So the sensor is placed inside a closed chamber. Let's say, for example, this sensor is placed inside a closed, um, let's say, container, and it is used, you know, used to measure the pressure, the external pressure in the container, okay? So in this example, the metallic diaphragm will be pushed to the left when the pressure is applied in the chamber. Let's say if the pressure is applied and then the, this diaphragm is pushed to the left, okay, meaning that the pressure in the electric is higher than outside. So in here, it's all the dielectric material, okay. So uh, and then if the, the vacuum and the, uh, when the when the pressure in the electric is less than the pressure outside, then the diaphragm here is pushed to the to the right, okay. So if in this event, the movement of diaphragm will change the capacitance due to change in distance between the plate, which is this distance here. Okay, you change distance between uh, left and right. So if you change the distance, of course, it will change the capacitance value. Okay, so the capacitive transfer is simple to construct and expensive for high flow variations of liquid of gas. For example, in this container, it can contain some some gases or liquids so to, to, in order to, to sense the pressure and then you can translate it into a capacitance difference of capacitance values okay so when combined with mechanical modifier it can also be used to measure volume density weight etc etc so there are many applications of capacitive transducer Okay, uh, now let's talk about advantage and some disadvantages of a capacitive transducer. Okay, so the, one of some of the one of the advantage is basically this type of transducer, capacitive transducer, is highly sensitive and require a small input for operation. Doesn't require a very large input, and so it does is effective for small type of system. Okay. Another advantage of a capacitive transducer is that it, it has a good frequency response and it's useful for dynamic study and it has a high input impedance and which basically translates into minimum loading effect. Okay, uh, the disadvantage is that one of the disadvantages of a capacitive transducer uh, is that metallic parts of the transducer require insulation. So these metallic parts can easily corrode if it's not properly insulated, okay? And the frame of the capacitor requires earthing to reduce the effect of any stray magnetic field because this magnetic field can has an effect on the electric field inside the capacitor and then it can change the value of the capacitance 
of the capacitive transducer. Okay, let's take a look at one uh, simple calculation example. Uh, you are given a parallel plate capacitive transducer. Okay, a parallel, parallel plate. So you have two plates. Okay, and you have a certain distance d. Okay, separated around 0 0.2 millimeter here. Okay, this here. And sep the plates are separated by air. So it means that the, uh, the relative permittivity for air is 1. So the question asks you to find what is the value of the capacitance and determine the change in capacitance if you have linear displacement. Okay, let's say for example you have some, some force try to move the, the plate uh, to, the, to the left, try to reduce the, the displacement between the two plates from 0 0.2 to 0 0.18 millimeter and then find the ratio of the per unit change of capacitance, this one here, to per unit change of displacement. Okay. So let's try to do this. So uh, just if you note that delta C here means the change in capacitance, and C here is the original value. Delta L is the change in displacement, and L here, sorry for the mistake, is the original displacement. Okay, so... Um, you are given the permittivity and the area and distance so basically just plug into the formula for the capacitance okay the area is 300 millimeter squared distance uh, the, the, the displacement is 0.2 uh, relative intensity is 1 for air and epsilon naught is just another constant so you plug in all these values formula and you get the initial capacitance of 13.275 okay now what happens if you try to reduce the, the capacitance value by reducing by putting some force in the capacitor transducer and the displacement is reduced around 0 0.02 millimeter okay so what happens that so we calculate a new distance this is new d is 0 0.18 and then we calculate a new capacitance value using the new distance and we get 14.75 uh, picofarad so it's a little bit less than previously okay so uh, if now you want to find the change is it's already is a bit higher yeah? because you have a, a, a shorter distance then the capacitance is higher okay all right so the change in capacitance is just uh, you minus the, uh, the the new capacitance with the old capacitance is 1.475 uh, picofarad and then the change in displacement is just 0 0.02 and finally you want to and the ratio of the change in capacity per unit change of capacitor divided by per unit change in distance is 1.75 divided by 13.275 we covered that previously divided by 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.2 which is the original displacement and you have 1.11 okay okay so i have this uh, another set of problem practice problem for you to do try to do this at home and if you have any uh, problem feel free to discuss and we'll see you again in our next video. Thank you very much. See you again. Bye now. Assalamualaikum.